Hello, it's Jason Payne from Cold Banker Dean Hopper Realtors. Well, I'm back out at Seminole Canyons, the Monte Verde section, and uh, this is a great location. You do have the JW Mirror out right down the road, and we're off of the TPC Parkway and kind of Evans near Boverde area. So great location. The feature builder we're looking at today is Castle Rock. Let's go check them out. All right. Sibylla Canyons, I've done numerous videos on them. If you haven't seen my Realtor Rides tour on it, make sure you check it out. But we're in the Monteverdi section, and you can actually see the world famous JW Marriott right down the road there. This place does have two PGA rated golf courses. So if you're into golfing and uh, you got to come check it out, they do have uh, the Valera open here every year. So, uh, great place to be if you're into golf. All right, let's go check out this home built by Castle Rock. All right, this particular model is called the Hayden model. It is just over 2,800 square feet. And the starting price is 375 for this model. And per the sales rep, and also as of the time, we are early February 2021. Usually when people buy this house, they end up somewhere in the low fours. But it's a beautiful two-story home. But this is our model, so uh, as uh, the disclaimer I always put in, Castle Rock is put in every bell and whistle, so keep that in mind. But a really nice office right up front with a can lighting in there. You are gonna have a powder room right up at the front of the house here. All right, let's check out the main living area right here. You have a good spot for your dining room table right here, but look at this space. I like the bold colors that Castle Rock put in their model. This is a gas community. Looks like they got GE appliances. This would be your utility room. That's gonna be the entrance to the garage. They've got their office set up there now, but this would be your washer and dryer set up there. Pantry. This probably is an upgrade to have the glass door, but I kinda of like it. Not the biggest pantry in the world, but it does do the trick. Let me check out the view of the sink. They did go this model set up for, yeah, this is the uh, granite composite sink in white, which I'm always a big fan of the granite composite sinks over the stainless steel, just because they don't scratch up like stainless steel does. You know what? I've never seen a white refrigerator. That's pretty slick. Okay, well it definitely goes good with this color scheme. And they've got a little additional sink over there for like washing fruit off and stuff or whatever you want to do. But check out the high ceilings in here. Let me get around so I can show you the upper area. There's a little different railing too, instead of your traditional wrought iron. All right, let's go upstairs and I'll end with the owner suite because there's a lot going on upstairs. All right, we got a couple of bedrooms up here. Oh, look at that. They've already got it set up to show it to the baby's room. But good size little mini walk-in closet.
and a nice little loft area. They've got it kind of set up where you can choose some of your bricks and layouts up here. But perfect for pool table, watching movies or something, whatever you want to do with this. Arts and crafts place for the kids. Poker room. Like you said, they got this set up as a little ping pong room, but also got the TV display there. They did go with, uh, because of the model, they put probably some extra can lighting in here. Depends on what you do at the low voltage meeting if you have one of these built. But we've got two more bedrooms up here. Kind of typical size bedrooms. But once again, another mini walk-in closet. I like it. The shared bathroom for the people up here. And another regular sized bedroom. With another little mini walk-in closet. I think the other closet was a little bit bigger, but it's tough to tell. Go for the view from the top. Lots of good lighting in here. All right, let's go ahead and head on downstairs. All right, we are back downstairs. And check out this owner suite. Well, let's go check out the backyard first. All right, good size patio. We've got plenty of lighting up here. Hopefully that's an outdoor rated ceiling fan. There is a difference between a regular ceiling fan and an outdoor rated one. So even if you're not gonna be getting directly rained on, make sure you go the extra mile and get an outdoor rated ceiling fan. They sell them on Amazon and they're not that much more expensive than the regular ones, but you won't have the drooping blades in a couple years. Just a little tip. All right, now we're on to the owner suite. Once again, then with the bold blue colors. They've got the ceiling fan with this light and the additional can lighting. Looks like they split up the uh, closet and the bathroom. The bathroom's over here. Once again, there's one of that bold blue and white theme. Or closet, and I love that. Well, not the biggest shower. They've got the inset shower there. It's not the biggest pan, but that's a big old shelf there to sit on. And these are kind of low. A uh, little tip, if you are doing these structural things and going with this house, if they do have an option for taller cabinets than this, because right now I'm having to bend over to do everything. My bender doesn't work so much anymore, so I call them like get the adult high countertops. So you're not having to bend over. I mean, if you want the small lower countertops, put that in the guest bathroom or where the kids are going to be using it. But you always want adult height uh, countertops. Not like super giant, but just so you don't have to bend over. So something to consider. 
All right, that's gonna wrap up tour of this model home built by Castle Rock. This is the Hayden plan. Remember 2,800, just over 2,800 square feet. Starting price is right around 375. But remember, after you go through structural changes, design center, you're probably looking at um, somewhere in the low fours. Depends on how nutso you go with the design center. Anyways, if you want some more information at this home, please feel to reach out to me. My contact information will be on the final slide, and I'm always here to help. So make sure you text me. That's the best way to get a hold of me. And as always, like, subscribe, and share these videos with your friends. Sorry, I've been talking a lot today. All right, talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye.